to save their careers. And if they don't like it, there's no hope for us. And themselves. Now I want this bad. This has to work. Or else I'm done. I booked your first gig. I think it's a terrible idea to do the show for the Magic Halftime. I think this is a great opportunity for you guys. We followed her into the lion's den and we all got bit. We all knew we were getting food. That's why we didn't want to do the show. After they did their song, they're like, oh, Color me fat. <laughs> You're the little bitch. I was pissed. They threw us under the bus and you know it was a bad idea. She's not our manager, dude. Miss Kate's definitely on probation. I have your performance. Let's go take a look. Why do we have to watch back what we already know? This isn't a punishment. If you have anybody to point the finger at, Miss Kate. Well, this is your guys' meeting. We called it. We did call it, and we called it for a very good reason. We called a meeting because we weren't happy with the way a lot of stuff was running. Coming into this, it was an experiment. We decided to make it a real group. We want to make an album. We want to promote it. We want to tour. We want to do the whole thing. Right now, what we have to figure out is, is the management really in it for the long run? We're uncomfortable about a couple things, and we wanted to talk to you about some things. No, I'll tell you what it is. We wanted to fire you wanted to like we need somebody that we know guaranteed has our best interests any downfall i've ever had has been because of management so it's it's really scary to be like okay is she really yeah, down with this because it's also yeah we do but for good reason i i lost trust not when we told you we didn't want to do the magic game we did it and got booed like we knew that was going to happen but i lost trust when you drug us up in the morning and had us listen to ourselves get clowned the next day. She wasn't kind of taking responsibility after she said she would when, when bad things would happen. You allowed us to do two things in a row that hurt us. Mm -hmm. And what's worse is, we told you they were gonna hurt us, it did hurt us, you knew how hurt we were, and then you allowed it to happen again. She hadn't said, guys, I'm sorry, I steered you wrong on that. I'm waiting on her to. She just acts like she never said anything. That pisses me off. I wouldn't do it over again. I would do it totally differently. You say that we make a lot of excuses. I've heard a lot of excuses from it's you. It's not an excuse. Tell, explaining the position I was in and that I made a wrong decision isn't making an excuse. It is excuses. I told There's you that if I had to, do, I would have done it different. You know, now this is all changing. Now the stories are all changing. Before it was, you know, well, you guys needed to see what you did wrong at the halftime show. I think that doing the show, you know, wasn't the right decision in doing it. But I do stand by playing it back and watching it. I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't agree with it, that. And I've been on tour for okay. 50,000 years, That's and I don't your... agree with that. I'll watch my shows, okay. but not when I'm tossed to the wolves and when you screw up and say you screwed up and then go, mm, I screwed up. Do you want to see it again? Do you want to watch it? That sucks. That, doesn't, that makes me hate you. Like I said, if I had to do it over again, I, probably would have, I definitely would have done it differently. So I apologize for that. You did something that just blew me away, and all you said was, I'm sorry. That's all we want. I want them to know that I'm here because I think you guys are onto something. I want to make a whole album. I want to take this to the next level. I want to be their manager. I hope you recognize some of the good things that I have brought and not just focus on maybe not the best decisions, but that I truly do have your best interests heart and I take it very seriously. That's what I needed to hear. Cool. Well, thanks for taking the time and listening to us. And Brian, try to let somebody else get a word in next time. I don't really know what came out of the meeting. I still kind of feel similar that I did before, but I think we can trust her a little more now. That's eight pound loss. Really? That's awesome. The weight loss is encouraging. The pain is not encouraging. Now you're not going to love me, but we're going to do jumping jack. 25. How many? 25. How many? 25. I'm kind of surprised at the positive attitude that I have, but it's only because of the excitement of knowing how well things are going. I feel like this group is really coming together. I do. My question is, are we going to be able to keep it going? Because I would like to see what would happen if we did. Hi, Miss Kate. Hello. So, I'm um, giving you guys a heads up. We're going to shoot a music video. 
Really? Yeah. Uh, I've got a director that you guys can work with, but it's going to be your idea, your concept. We're going to shoot it on Friday. Think more in terms of the YouTube kind of a video, like an internet video, not like the big MTV video. We're all used to doing high budget, big videos. And Miss Katie made it very clear that this is something strictly for the internet that we want to catch on. So I'm excited about it. The video would be good. Like, if, if everywhere we go, people are throwing tomatoes, that they hate us because we were in boy bands, I think no matter what we do. It's a good idea. I let's think. put on glittery suits and do the running man. Like, let's really, like, clown the shit out of it. If you want to really clown it, why don't we just go get a green screen and do that stuff? And I'd then like have him that. like add a bunch That'd of. That would create a ridiculous buzz. It might not be good, but it would definitely create a buzz, I think. It's diffusing that we're corny, because we're going to be the most corny possible. We wanted to do a funny video instead of a serious video because we think when we make fun of ourselves first, it's not as much fun to make fun of us. Maybe it is. We gotta do this video. We gotta talk about what we're gonna do for the video. We started throwing ideas out, and the one thing we couldn't do was try to be serious. So what we decided was, why don't we clown ourselves in the video and come up with the goofiest, most strangest, quirky video ever? So immediately, Chris and I started kind of going back and forth with just the most ridiculous things that we could think of. Throwing baloney at people. Can there be a thing where I turn into a bat? Somebody dressed in a rabbit suit with the top hat on. A wizard! No, a wizard! The right Titan wizard. If things go right, we're going to make the greatest video of all time. And then I disappear, and a puff of smoke comes up, and you see a rubber bat come up from the ground with a string. We will have caught the most important images on film ever. The world will become a better place because of this video. So we got it. Hip-hop, whackness, green screen goofiness, tomatoes thrown at us. What's a song have to do with anything? Nothing. <laughs> Which is great. Since Rich and I were the, whatever the opposite of geniuses behind the project, Miss Kate sent us to the costume shop and said, get what you need for the video. And at the time, we didn't even know what the video was. Oh, look at this. This is great stuff. Is that what you're going to wear for the video? All right, let's, let's figure this out. Here's a wizard suit! Look! <laughs> a full-on wizard suit! That's perfect! And then we figured out that we wanted to be changed into something. So we all became different characters. Perfect. I'll be a Viking. Uh, what about an Elvis costume? For Jeff Timmons, we went with Elvis. What can Brian be? That's gonna be tough. What are your bigger, bigger outfits? Like, we didn't really know what to get Brian because he's weird about his sizes. He's like a triple XL. Yeah, that, that's what I have this for. So we went with the Nero costume. He gets like a toga mm -hmm. with a belt and the crown. She says it fits triple XL. That's him. This has always been a dream of mine to dress up like Abraham Lincoln. I just haven't had the opportunity. Do I look like Abraham Lincoln or just like a random Amish guy? You look more, more Lincoln than Amish. All right. Anything, anything? Wrap this up. About $500. Right? That's it. That's our budget. The video shoot was awesome. This is why I got into the music business. I mean, I don't think we really even had a concept. The wizard's coming, dude. I think it's going to be hilarious. Oh! My wife and my daughter came up. She's kind of unfair to me right now. I'll just say I didn't fly down here for four days to be told that I can't come downstairs. The only thing that'll drive him away from her is her. Kate came to us and let us know that we uh, were about to shoot a video. And so we thought the best way to do that with a low budget is just have a good time and goof. Just do the goofiest stuff we could come up with. How you doing, man? I'm good. I didn't sleep. And I don't think we really even had a concept. We just went out and bought a bunch of costumes and a bunch of props and then found a director that was willing to do all the corniest stuff possible. And here it is. Action! Yeah, 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 chase him, chase him, chase him, chase him! The concept of the video is uh, basically some boy band guys getting heckled and having tomatoes and things thrown at them. Tomatoes! We had tomatoes thrown at us to commemorate our massive booing at the Orlando Arena. <laughs> the main heckler is uh, a wizard. The wizard's coming, dude. Who we escape from, and we end up uh, getting stalked through the house by this little wizard who wants to uh, turn us into anything but boy band members. And uh, so that's kind of the plot of the video. Just when you thought it couldn't get any more amazing. The concept for this video, the whole point was that me and Rich were trying to make each other laugh. <laughs> like, we weren't serious about anything. We were just both trying to, like, say dumber stuff to make the other one laugh. This is why I got into the music business, to do this. I think this is only going to be funny to us. 
That's all that matters. <laughs> you talk like you don't know me. I think I looked exactly like Abraham Lincoln must have looked. Face, height, honesty. I was very honest the day of the video. I think we were getting across the point of absolutely no point. <laughs> I just hope people know how corny we wanted it to be and they don't think that we were really serious. All right, folks, that's a wrap on Short Shot Fetty! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Making the video was the greatest day of my life. And one day, I might have a child. My own flesh and blood. And that will be the second best day of my life. Good how job weird, today, right? guys. Yeah, great job. I can't believe we did that. I'm glad we did. That was great. away from my family for a couple weeks now and uh, I'm, I'm missing them so my wife and my daughter came up hey seeing my family man kind of revived me it kind of put me back where I needed to be because I was feeling kind of loony there for a minute wow this looks like a hotel Kim man she knew me through all the fame I mean we were at the height of our careers when I met her and she always just treated me like one of the guys man you look good and you look like a real pop star <laughs> <laughs> a lot of competition in this house, man. I had to step it up. That's Jeff. Hey, Jeffrey. How are you? Good, how are you? You look nice. Thank you. I think Kim do doesn't like me too much. I mean, she was on the road with me and, and Brian when we were on the road, and, you know, we had some problems on the road, and Kim, for some reason, thinks I judge Brian. I'm getting to know Brian really well, and we're getting close. It's kind of a cool thing. It's good. He's not such a piece of anymore, is he? I never said he was. <laughs> Brian feeds off support, and unfortunately, Kim doesn't really see that I have that support for Brian. Brian's like struggling to stay sober. He's doing he turns a good job. the corner and there's like a bottle of Jack Daniels on the counter. He's doing a fantastic job at that. You yeah, know, he's doing a good I know. Job. I'm very yeah, proud and, uh, of him. He should be. I'm so tired, I don't think I can yeah, finish I'm, this thing. I'm, I'm probably just going to, after I finish this, I'm probably just oh, going to pass you. out. Man, I'm going to bed, dude. All right, man. Good night, dude. Get some sleep. Okay. I am going to bed. Yeah, me too. Bye. Good night. Nice job on the video. Thanks. It was a lot of fun. So tomorrow's our big show. We're going to play Mansion, probably the hottest club in Miami. We have two incredible songs. I'm anxious about it. Guys, this is Glenn Douglas Packard. He is a choreographer. What it is? He is best known for Michael Jackson's 30th anniversary special. He's also worked with Usher, Pink, so Glenn has some girls that are going to audition for your show on Tuesday in Miami. I like it! Some backup dancers. Basically select your, you know, each of your favorite girls. And those are the ones that will be doing the show for you. I didn't dance too much in 98 Degrees. I was terrible at it. But I feel more comfortable now uh, with what's going on. The girls are dancing. They're doing most of the eye candy, dancing around stuff for the crowd, hopefully to keep the energy up. I'll go get them right now. You guys go into the theater. And I'll bring one in at a time, and they'll do their number three. Out of 21 days, Brian decides to have his wife come on the day that we're going to have 14 really hot girls with big boobs, nice bottoms, slutty clothes, <laughs> rolling through the house. Yeah, it's got to be pretty threatening and overwhelming for her to walk into a situation when we've had this laid-back life and working at the tire shop. Now she's walking downstairs into a room full of young, pretty women who dance. And it didn't help matters that they were all wearing next to nothing. There could be some jealousy, and if you're not a real confident woman, it could get really difficult. The girls were beyond belief. I'm going to go on record and say I love you. What a great idea. Great idea. I'll just say I didn't fly down here for four days to be told that I can't come downstairs. You don't have to be sarcastic, Kim. Oh, I know. She was just mad. That don't count for nothing, right? No, it does. I just think that he could use a little more support and a little less guilt. Miss Kate told us that we were going to be holding a, an audition for this show in Miami. Yeah, we auditioned 14 gorgeous dancers. Incredible looking girls. Six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go on record and say I love you. Oh, it makes my head hurt so bad. What a great idea. Great idea. This is the second best day of my life. <laughs>
How are we gonna pick? Can we just take them all? I just want a week. We ended up, you know, having fun with it and trying to do it with as much class as we could. Add her to the mix because I think she's a really, really good dancer. Well, this one, and let me just say that that one's guranteed. Let me just, um, say, let me just that say that this one's yeah. guaranteed. Her. Yeah, but we're really impressed by her. She wasn't the best dancer. She was really <laughs> cute. Do we That's can dance? Oh. I think we picked Nikki, Selena. There's a girl named Neva. Eva. I can't remember the other girl's name though. I have a question. Do you guys want the girls dancing for the one song? You want them dancing for both the songs? Probably one. One. The one. Okay, and you guys are on your own for the second one. Yeah. Mic stands, and I think we should just use mic stands. Just do some mic stands. Yeah. You don't have to be sarcastic, Kim. Oh, I know. Do you? But you gotta understand that, well, never mind. You know what? I'm not gonna play this game with you. I thought she would handle it a little better than she did. You know, I came up to her being upset, basically. And uh, she had been up there boiling just feet away from all these women. Kim, I told you exactly what was going on. I told you everything. There was nothing for you to not know. I kept nothing. And you were here. On top of that, I fought my ass off for that <laughs> But that don't count for nothing, right? No, it does. I just think that he could use a little more slack, a little more support, and a little less guilt. I'll just say I didn't fly down here for four days to either be A, cooped up in a hotel room, or B, cooped up in a bedroom and be told that I can't come downstairs. It's very tough for people that are not in the business to be with somebody that's in this business because they feel that the temptations and the success are going to change them and take them away from them. When are you going to find out what the agenda is tonight? When I find out, Kim. Act like you know me and act like you are my friend or I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't think that she's hoping that it doesn't work out for me and the guys. I think she's afraid. Maybe she's afraid I'm just going to up and take off because my music's hitting again. Maybe she's afraid that something's going to happen. And because of how I was with, I've had two exes before. And I couldn't handle the arguments and the jealousy and all that kind of stuff. And so I walked. But in his heart of hearts, he loves his family more than anything. Second to that, he loves music. But music is going to generate money for him. This is like one last shot at that. No matter what success Brian has, he loves her, he's got children with her, but the only thing that'll drive him away from her is her and her lack of support, lack of faith, and negative vibe. Yeah, Brian Michael Cox is here. We're gonna show him the video for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what this thing looks like. I really was kind of left out of the loop on the music video side. All right, don't hate us. I'm starting to get a little nervous about showing the, the, the video to BMC. I mean, he's a serious guy. He's taking us very seriously. I hope he doesn't think we're disrespecting him or not taking him seriously by joking around with this video we have here. I just don't think that's a good idea to poke fun at yourself like that. Let's let it go. All right, let's check it out. We're going to do something new. Yeah. Something fresh and new. Oh. Yeah. Sure shot. We were showing it to BMC and it occurred to me what Chris and I, Jeff and Brian found to be really, really funny, he might not find very funny. Oh, feel like you wanna get down with me? I'll take it to the place only seen on TV. Like, ooh, when I take it to the parking lot. Get you off the club, cause it's much too hot. We can make a pop, I'ma take my style and take off all the clothes you got. That's right, ooh. That's right, ooh. That's right. Ooh. Did you think it was funny, or did you think it was too stupid? All right. This is still a little bit rough. It's not the final final, but think more in terms of internet, internet video, YouTube. All right. We were worried about you thinking we're insulting the song, and 
and I don't. I hope that doesn't come across like. Nah, I, 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 I was concerned about that initially when I heard that it was going to be a spoof. But I mean, I, I, I get, I get the whole poking fun at yourselves now. I, I get that. You, you, you say it. So nobody else will say. It. Right. The goal that, that we're trying to achieve is to kind of create a buzz and create a thing where it can kind of move around the internet. I'm just, I just don't want this to turn into a joke. That's my main thing. Thanks, man. No Thanks. doubt. No doubt. I told you, I'm, I'm in it. So let's make it happen. Thanks, dude. I think he gets the joke, and he might not appreciate the joke, but he understands where it's coming from. Have a good one. I'll see y'all uh, when y'all get back. And one, two, tomorrow's our big chance. We're going to play in the hottest club in Miami. I'm scared to death. We really need it to go well. Here we go. There's definitely a lot of tension between us, Kate and Chris. I think you're looking for things to pick on. No, I'm not. I, I could just tell the thing was going to blow up. You. I don't want people like you screwing up this new band's careers. Everything went great until we started the song. Oh, Somehow the music started too early. Go, go! Oh man, we just blew it. For after show commentary and extra scenes, go to vspot at vh1.com.